There once was an old witch who lived in a tree. She woke one morning, sad as could be. For although she had a great life in her home, she always found herself bitterly alone. But then one morning she had a great thought, and so loud and she exclaimed with all her heart, To remedy being so alone, I shall have a child of my very own. Using my magic and desire to love, he can be a great son I would be proud of. <laughs> magic does not allow creating human life, but she did not allow this to, cro to cause her strife. The following day, not wasting an instant, she set out to create a unique infant. She twisted the rules to which her magic was wed, but instead gave life to a boy of gingerbread. <clears throat> Using this magic of that I have created, my terrible loneliness will be evaded. I will do whatever it takes to ensure the boy awakes. <clears throat> Possessing great caution and dexterity, the witch used the oven with temerity. The used, the oven came to life, and so did the boy. And the witch jumped and cried out with joy. Mother, is that you that I see? Was it you that gave life to me? Oh, my joy of my dearest son! It was me who brought you to this world. Oh, yippee! I have always wanted to be your mother. And now we will be happier than any other. We can stay in this house and to be together and love each other for he here forever. I have laid out some games. What do you say? Please, oh, please tell me your stay. Oh, mother, there is nothing I would love more than to be happy with you forevermore. I wish I could tell you that the story ends here, and that the two lived in love for years. But such happiness was never meant to be, for although the witch and the boy were happy, she never told him the truth of how he came to be, nor of the fact that his life was not truly free. For if he were to wander, he could be eaten, and the witch's great magic would be beaten. In ignorance, the boy loved the witch for many years, but when the truth came out, there would be tears. That fateful day came during the holiday season, when the witch decided for some foolish reason that to make cookies for herself to enjoy, including some that resembled the gingerbread boy. <laughs> hey, those look like cookies, those look like those cookies that I see. I look like those cookies that I see. <laughs> Could you be making new siblings for me? Why, this is ridiculous! What do you mean? You're a boy and these are merely cookies you've seen! Long have I wondered where I came from, and when I have asked, you have said none. But recently, while looking through your books, I found an image that resembled my looks. It was a recipe for creating gingerbread men. Why have one son, or when you can have ten? I'm all alone here, and I want a, just want a friend. Um, and while spending my days with you without end has made me happy for a long time, to see the world is a dream of mine. If you, do not, will, if you will not make me brothers, what do you say? Can I travel the world, or will I be forced to stay?
And so the gin and so the gingerbread boy ran, but not far, for he had a plan. In the dead of night, when the witch was away, the boy returned, but not to stay. He found the magic oven and the remaining men, and using the witch's magic, he took them to his den. With the oven, he brought them all to life. And, they, and there they lived together without strife. Working together, they created their own society. And for many years, they lived happily. But one, a day, but one day, the boy, now becoming a man, found himself back at the house from which he ran. Mother, it's me. I came home, like I said. I want to tell you about the life I've led. Using your oven, and I made others like thee, like me. And together, we live in our own society. I have created more than you ever could. I have loved more than you ever should. We are all special in our own way. And together, we work and play. And I, but I still love you most of all, Mother. And I know for a son that you would have no other. Please come back to my cave with me, and once again, we can live happily. My son, while it is true I have missed you, but surely what you said must be untrue. You are incapable of what you claim. You and this chair are one and the same. Objects I created are different to fulfill some need, but unlike the chair, I have finished with thee. I no longer need, nor want, nor love you. I now realize I must do. I must destroy the abomination I have created and reclaim the years that I have wasted. My fire magic should do to bring a quick end to you. You may destroy me, but my men not so easily. There is a part of me in each of them, and now their enemy will be all living men. I did not want a war, but they will fight and defend. They will create more, and the humans will end. I only wanted to make you proud of me. But I may have brought the end of humanity. You can't catch them. No one can. You won't catch them. They're the gingerbread men. I love you, Mother. Be safe. <coughs> In the following years, a war was waged and saw the greatest destruction of any age. The gingerbread men grew in numbers and killed many humans while they slumbered. The remaining men did retaliate, but the gingerbread men did prove too great. One by one, the humans fell, all because of the witch's spell. Until the, at last only the witch remained, and for a while no ground was gained. For the witch put up a great fight, determined to destroy them with all their might. But ultimately, she too was killed, regardless of what her son had willed. And now the humans were no more, and the gingerbread men lived in 